Harry and Steve's house, we're going to do a system replacement here. We might only do an air conditioner and coil, potentially going to do a furnace as well. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll pull this furnace out and we'll set our new furnace up on top of a six inch furnace base. This return drop is going to have to get replaced. It goes into a hard drywall ceiling. So we'll have to cut some of that drywall back in order to open our opening up there to a 10 by 26. We'll run that back down to the floor. We'll put our five inch media cabinet in, set our coil up on top of that. Let's just replace the line set. So the refrigerant lines run from the coil up through the wall through a piece of PVC right there. Uh, flue pipe is four inch metal flue. So it runs out of the top of the furnace over to the, um, the flue liner there through the wall. So we'll put a T in there, rebuild back down to the new system. If they decide to go the high efficiency route, we'll run our flue pipe up to the ceiling, over to the side, and we'll poke through the wall there, um, over here somewhere. <clears throat> um, humidifier, we can just mount a new humidifier to this system, either a powered or a bypass. Um, we can set it up the same way it's set up right now on the return side. Um, condensate drain lines, it looks like everything's run, runs to a, um, a condensate pump if we set our new furnace up on a base and we put in a high efficiency furnace we'll have to use that pump anyway and then we'll pump that back up to the copper line they have looks like it runs across the ceiling and to the inside right there um, that should be everything on the inside my outdoor unit is right over here so there's a york heat pump right there um, we'll pull that heat pump out we'll set our new unit back down on top of a new pad on top of that concrete pad that's there. We'll do a new electrical shutoff box, an electrical whip, and then those refrigerant lines will get replaced.